really beautiful quality images of uh, work, her sketches, um, some finished paintings, and it's a great insight into her mind as an artist. shop as well uh, you've got to go and see if you can get your hands on some of these stickers because they're awesome and thank you so much for your letter Deandra. i love the little doodles on here as well and finally something i've been really waiting to share with you guys i was so lucky to get my hands on mel chadwick's little collection of port leaven um sketches so this is like a book of postcards made up of some drawings that she did of the town that i believe that she was living in at the time i don't know if she still lives there um mel i watch on youtube anyway so it was so amazing to just receive this out of the blue um i'll leave a link to her channel below she does great vlogs as well and just beautiful artwork i love the style i love her use of water and and line as well so i'm so grateful to have these i kind of want to send them out to people as postcards but i kind of also just want to keep them for myself Another cool thing in here is this 10 ways to cultivate a sketchbook habit little pocket guide um, where she's got all these little tips illustrated as well. I just think she's incredibly talented. She also does interviews with creators. Um, just her channel and her artwork in general are such fantastic resources and I definitely would recommend that you check her out. But other than that, I think that is it for this video. Um, if you have any... Well, that was a really nice surprise from Minnie. Um, to be featured on her channel, um, that was just really nice and a bit of a surprise. <sighs> yeah, it's a bit surreal to be featured on a channel that you watch regularly and that you've been subscribed to for, you know, the past 18 months and then to be kind of featured in the way Minnie does, which is very nicely and very um, positive. And so I'm just really thankful that uh, she did include me. Really great to have you guys over here if you've subbed because of Minnie's recommendation. Um, I'm really flattered that you came over and just subbed. Um, I hope you've had time to maybe go through my channel. I've got a lot of content on here and I would really recommend the creative conversations um, because there is so much good advice from other creatives. If you're starting out in your career or you're running your own business or you freelance then those conversations may be really helpful to you. Anyway I am going to share with you what's been going on this week and also I've got to clear up the mess that is my workspace. So whilst I clear up my space, I will talk about what I've been doing this last week. So I started last week having a long list of to-do things to do. One of them was to film and edit a how I do a creative conversation. I am just about to film um, another video for you. This one is going to be about my creative conversations. About a few weeks ago I asked the question, did anyone have any questions about my creative conversation series? And I'm finally getting them all together and hopefully I can put together a video this morning. It is raining outside and it's bit dark and I'm just preparing my space which you can see behind me I have got my lights as well which I will be using so I've got one here that I will be using and I've got one over there and I've got my little kind of lights there I'm gonna sit on this box which is actually a cajon in that video I did manage to talk about um, kind of everything that I do, how I find the people to speak to, how I film it, what equipment I use, and I also answered some of your questions as well. So make sure you go and check that out if you are really interested in seeing a behind the scenes of how I do that series. I then had a actual creative conversation to film and I went and filmed a couple called Helena and Joel and they create um, 
furniture and fixings like lampshades and ceramics, woodwork from their studio, their workshop in um, Perina Wervel. So I spent a good morning with them just kind of filming them, talking about what they do, running their business and they gave loads of really good advice and so hopefully I will have that video soon edited and up on the channel. I then also have been preparing my sketchbook workshop classes and I've been designing flyers and bits for my Facebook page, you know, adverts, that kind of thing coming up with a course plan so that's five weeks we do it every other week and we meet in Colorado de Delhi in Mullion which is a coffee shop run by um, a mother and daughter team so they host it and I use the space and people buy drinks from them I also got a drink and draw which is going to be this Saturday so that's the first time that um, I will be running that. Um, the whole point of the drink and draw is a more relaxed, more informal time of just drawing together. It's for people who love drawing, but also people who haven't really had any experience of drawing. So basically I'm gonna be kind of um, trying to, I guess, enthuse people through challenges. So we're gonna have some drawing challenges, um, some timed challenges, and just basically have some fun whilst also having a drink and that'll be at Colorado de Delhi as well and then I've also been working on other workshops so I've got one planned another one planned for potagers which is another drawing in the garden workshop which we did last year I'm going to do it again in March and then also I've got some sketch walks as well coming up again in Port Levin and that's in April. So this last few weeks have just been planning and um, contacting venues, contacting people, seeing if there's a um, possibility to run workshops. So yeah, it's all been good, just a lot of administration, which means that my studio gets a little bit messy. So at the same time as planning my workshops, I have also set myself a little um, Instagram challenge. So every Friday, um, I'm going to be sketching a face. I think I have been a little bit reluctant to draw faces, um, mainly because uh, when I do draw them, I don't think they actually look like the person. But over the last few weeks, I have been pushing myself to try and draw things which I wouldn't normally draw. So my Instagram challenge, if you want to follow along, it's Friday Faces and I'm going to be drawing a face from YouTube. So an artist from YouTube and sharing it with everyone who follows and hopefully they will look like the person that I'm trying to draw. On Friday, I actually did Minnie Small's face and um, I'm actually really pleased with how it looks. I think it actually does look like her, but I'm not gonna say it was easy because I actually had quite a few different goes at drawing her. Um, and yeah, it just seems to get better as I was drawing it. It just took some time just to get used to the shape of her face and making sure that the lines and proportions were right. But I kept going with it and I think I'm actually quite happy with how it turned out. Anyway, if you want to join in, please do. Just tag your pictures, Friday faces and Tag me as well so I can have a look and we can learn together. I've also been trying some different drawing exercises as well. So this was drawing my apple um, each time I bit it. Quite good actually for pacing myself. Normally I eat an apple and it's gone within a couple of minutes. So this one was actually took me probably about 10 minutes to eat. I really like how it's come out and makes quite a good sketchbook spread. 
Okay, so also guys, I have a couple of books that I want to share with you because they've been really helpful in my sketching journey. And so the first one that I want to share with you is Art Before Breakfast by Danny Gregory. Looks really nice as well. This one, I'm looking forward to using more as well, sketching people. Again, by, this one's by Lynn Chapman. She's got lots of ideas. Which hopefully I can learn and teach from as well going forward. See this one was by Ben. Not sure about this one. I think this one captures her face. Hopefully this vlog has brought you up to date kind of with what I'm doing. It's just quite busy uh, preparing all these workshops and trying to remember what you've done as well as producing some more resources that you can give out to the participants. I always really like to make sure that um, those who I'm teaching have all the resources and if they don't then I like to make sure they've got links to where they can get resources. Um, so yeah. It's been a busy couple of weeks. Anyway guys, hope you are well. Let me know what's going on. I'd love to hear what you're getting up to, what you're working on, um, and I will speak to you again soon. Bye.